Hi, it's Fanny of Living Richie on a Budget. I want to show you my ultimate digital planner. You need to use GoodNotes and an Apple Pencil in order to use it. It's a mid-year calendar. It's built around the school year. So this is the cover page. And this is the menu, the main menu, and everything is hyperlinked, so you can go directly to that page. You can always get back to it with the home button here. So we have the goal section, goals by month overview. So you can jot down, you can look at all your goals by the year and by each month here. And then we have each quarter goal. So, so the quarterly goals are arranged according to the second half of the year so it's third and fourth quarter goals of 2024 then we go to first and second quarter of 2025 so this is how the quarterly planner looks like so you can write down what your goal is your action plan and tasks and a deadline and you can also jump to each quarter from here with the menu so you can go to first quarter here and then we have monthly goals from july to june you can jump here and look really really quickly and you can Write down your life to-do list, your fun to-do list, work to-do list, and other to-do list. And let's go to the month. You can jump to each month here. And after each month, I have the monthly to-do list here. And then it goes to the weekly planner. And the weekly planner is undated, so you can just write down the month. You can write down the dates yourself by clicking on the small pen button here. You can choose the thickness of your pen and also you can choose like different kinds of pens, the fountain pen, ball pen, or brush pen. I like the ball pen. And then you can write the dates here. I can say this is the first, second, third, and then just date it like that. You can do that yourself. What I really like about having a weekly planner like that is that it's open. I don't like calendars with the times already there. I want to like write it down myself. Like if I have an appointment here and then just jot down my to do list, it gives you more freedom and flexibility of planning your schedule. To go back to looking at the full page, you just click on this pen button again and it goes to them. And you cannot, when you go here, you can't write. So you could just use it to skip ahead or click so you don't mark it. And I have also other parts of the planner besides the month and the goals. Oh, also year to glance. And I have, you can go back to the planner cover. <laughs> I just really like the, the cover. So we have a productivity and self-care section. There's a daily planner, weekly meal planner, brain dump, organize the stress, triangle breathing, weekly habit tracker, yearly habit tracker, bucket list, and notes. So let's look at it quickly. So this is the daily planner. In case you want to plan by day like this, I just put one page in there, but you can duplicate these pages. Let me show you in a moment, but let's go back to each thing here. We have a weekly meal planner. There's also a quick tab to the weekly meal planner right here. It says meal plan. And I have a breathe section. I feel like we get stressed a lot, and this is just a reminder to do quick um to, do, to take a break and do some deep breathing and deep breathing just activates a certain part of your body where you can relax more when you deep breathe so this is like a four seven eight breathing technique so i also have a quick tab here for notes i really like having a note section and the other parts okay other section i want to show you is the weekly habit tracker so you can track like new habits by morning activities afternoon or night and it's by you know days of the week and you could just write down like i want to um, start walking 20 minutes a day and then you can walk write it here you can circle it here and say i did it this day and i did this day and it's just easy to track things in this on this page and let's go to the yearly habit tracker you can also use this to track your period as well. Um, so this is like January, February, March. It's just easy to see the entire year and you can just color in that. I did, I walked today and I walked this day. It makes it easier to track everything all in one page and see your progress. You can even use this to like, if you wanna make YouTube videos, oh, I did, this is how many YouTube videos I did in a year. That's also kind of fun to track. And then the next one is the personal checklist. 
you can just use this to write down all your tasks and then track if you've done it yet you can use it also to track like doing chores have i like if i clean the bathroom or the kitchen and you just you can track it here what else and the bucket list so you can write down the stuff you want to accomplish by year and just refer to it so i want to show you an overview of how to use this if you've never used a digital planner before so you can customize your planner and this is how so if you look at this four boxes here you're gonna press that and you can see an overview of all the pages of the planner here let's go to september say we want to duplicate the weekly planner in september and it's right here i can click on the little arrow button here and it says duplicate so that just copy that page and i want to copy there's two pages one that's like monday to wednesday the other one's thursday to the weekend so the second page i'm going to duplicate also number 22 and i'm going to duplicate and then when we go here it's going to show that it duplicate the same thing so monday and monday right and then thursday and thursday so to rearrange it um i'm going to just so I'm going to hold this down and I'm going to drag with my finger. It's just easier. So I just switch these pages around. And when you go there, you can see that's Monday and Thursday. Okay, Monday to Wednesday and then Thursday to Sunday. So I just duplicated it. And you'll probably have to duplicate it like three times to get an entire month. But it's not that hard to do. Also, you can rearrange pages. Say I want the monthly goals to be before the month count monthly calendar. I kind of like to use my finger. It's easier. So I can hold it down and switch the page here. So I can change the order. You can duplicate pages. If you don't like a page, you can delete it. You can click here, the little arrow, and click move to trash. So it makes it easy to rearrange it and customize your planner exactly how you want it to go. So just remember, you have to click on this if it's a circle, circle pen, that's when you, you cannot write on here. You could just move it or drag things around. Then just click this button to like write. And there's an eraser. There's different shapes you can do. If you don't like your handwriting, you can use the T text. I need the show keyboard here. And you can type like school starts. I know it's really tiny, but I can, um, okay, I have to highlight it. So I have to make it bigger like this. There you go. You have to highlight it and then you can adjust your font size. I think it's easier just to write in it. So what I like about this planner is these cute little illustrations. I got these illustrations from a Ukrainian artist and uh, it's hand drawn and, and like painted and it's really cute. So you don't really have to add stickers or anything to your planner to make it look good because it's already done. I know busy people don't have time to just add stickers, but also if you did want to add stickers or let's go back to the month or stuff to your planner. Let's go back here. You can import pictures here. You can import stickers here. So if you've added stickers on, you can actually get it from here. And drag it say so you have a dentist appointment i can resize my sticker here you can also add pictures here i can add a picture of my kids from the museum and it could become like a memory book your digital planner could be a memory book of what happened so we went to this museum on this day and have a picture here from it see like you can decorate your planner in a different way where you can add pictures digitally and if I want to move it again, I can click on it and I can resize it again. I really like the feature, this feature, I can duplicate it. I really like the feature of this, the digital planner versus a regular paper planner. And also you don't have to print so many pages, like hundreds of pages at a printer where it costs a lot of money or at home where it uses so much ink. So this saves money and time because right away you could use it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this. See you next time. Bye.